I'm a statistician with a biology background collaborating with the discovery team that's helping to solve complex problems in the area of food security. One of the problems we're working on is protecting the cassava plant, a primary source of nutrition and a crucial part of the East African economy. Each year, an estimated $1.25 billion worth of cassava crops is lost because of the brown streak virus. These lost crops can impact more than half a billion Africans who rely on the cassava plant as a primary food staple. To tackle the problem, we are taking an in-depth, multifaceted look at white flies, which feed on cassava plants and spread the cassava brown streak virus from plant to plant. When a plant has this virus, it rots. The cassava becomes useless as both a source of food and a source of income for the families who grow and sell it. Figuring out how to stop this virus requires experts across the spectrum. We have biologists, geneticists, statisticians, and other experts all gathering important data related to the white flies. That's where translational data analytics comes in. We're collecting DNA from hundreds of individual white flies and studying the entire genome from each of them. Through statistical analysis of the genomes, we are able to compare the white flies to answer questions such as, how many different kinds or species of white fly are there? How are the species similar or different? Are all white flies equally good carriers of the virus, or are some more prolific than others? Once we understand the white fly's genetic diversity, we are able to connect that information with the behavior and infectivity of specific white fly type and figure out ways to stop them from spreading the virus. This new knowledge connected with collaborative efforts to implement solutions will accelerate the process of ensuring a reliable source of food and income for millions of East African people. At Ohio State, we're using translational data analytics to ask the questions yet to be asked and tackle complex problems not yet solved. We call it Big Data for Good.